Hey, Hotep, this is uh, Jareel. I was just uh, outside just planting my feet in solid ground. Uh, recently, like yesterday, I had went to Sacramento to go see my mother. And as I was driving the car, I, I, I sat down and I looked at the steering wheel. And um, it hit me. Driving. Hmm. You know how it is when your mother says, you're driving me crazy. Or your daddy says, you backseat driver. Or, you know, you're in a car, you're driving somewhere. Or if you're walking, you're still driving. If you're running, you're still driving. If you're working, you're still driving. All this damn driving to go where? Right? back where you started from home the mind so you go you go there you come back you go over there you come back you always drive 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 but you fail to realize with real eyes that this right here is telling you all kinds of things but you ignore the story this is why you become a mystery. So, if you look at your steering wheel, when you have those gears, you get it, gears, G-E-A-R-S, gears at the end has ears. Hmm, something to think about, ain't it? Those damn ears that you have don't listen for nothing, but you rather just go ahead and drive other people crazy. You see what I'm talking about? Because you speak nonsense. Which is no sense. See, when you're thinking, get it, thinking, thin king. It's a thin king. In other words, hanging on a string. So when, you, when you're thinking and that process of your thoughts doesn't manifest anything but, unnatural, uh, uh, but being unnatural, you're being thin, thinned out, thinking, thin king. Then king hanging on a string. This is why we drive our mothers crazy. Now, let's look at that first gear. So what gear is your ears in so you can hear and drive your mind to the location where you need to go? Home. And I'm not talking about home here, like as in the address that you live at or the location that you need to go. I'm talking about the process of your thoughts to figure out who you are in your home. This is your house, your temple. The same thing right here, temples. These are called temples. These are your temples. Get it? Temples as in church, temple. These are your temples. The whole body is your house. So when you're going down the street, in what gear do you put those ears in? Let's take a look. First gear. What do you think of first? Second gear, what's your second thought? Third, what is your third thought? And fourth, what is your fourth thought? If you add one, two, three, four, you come up with the number 10. The 10th letter of the alphabet is J. Stands for Jesus because your mind is always on Jesus. So therefore, you don't have a clear thought because you're always thinking something that's been pro already been programmed in you to make you think for yourself. Instead of you thinking with inside yourself, you think outside. So this is why you're out of your mind instead of being inside of your mind, being natural. Now, again, you also have one, two, three, four in those gears. And what's the next letter that comes after that? That would be that drive, that drive. Get it? That D. That demon that drives you crazy. The next thing is neutral. Why neutral? There's nothing neutral about in nature. That N word that they keep on telling you don't say. That naga, that nigga, that negro. That natural being, that negro being. And then you got that P up there, park. Why would you want to put your mind in park? You get it? Park, the problem of arc, P 
P-A-R-K, Park, the problem of Ark. You can't spark anything up there because you got your mind sitting and waiting for nothing because you're driving someone crazy yourself because you don't know exactly where you want to go. Yeah, you can go and make a living and all these other things, but the main thing, do you really know what this money situation is all about? No, you don't because you don't sit down and think. You sit down there and be something that you're not. A slave. To be enslaved with nonsense. Because you have no sense. Because you're not natural. So again, if you look at those same gears that I'm talking about, maybe you want to listen a little bit. Because if you don't listen, you're going to be in list. You get it? So if you're in list, that means you are enlisted. Classified. Just like those Nazis who can't see. And I'm going to keep on stressing this out for you all out there. Because as time is the as the time keeps on going and going, which is really no time at all. It's just something that you've been programmed to think for yourself, like, oh, it's nine o'clock. Oh, it's six o'clock. Oh, it's five o'clock. There's no such thing as time. The only time they use time is when you clock in. You know what I mean? You clock in at your job. The same clock that you have over there on the wall that you keep on looking at, wondering, you know, you're gonna, what time I got to go to work? What time I got to go to school? See, it's the time that they created that is putting you in the position that you're in of enslavement. But you don't see it this way. You think it's all joking. You think it's LOL. Shit laughs and giggles. Which is really not. Because if you were really serious, then you'll be doing what you need to do. And that is seeking. And learning about yourself. About how you can become natural. And drive yourself where you need to go. The real home. The universe. Yeah, you know, time, like like I was saying, you know, here it is that they give you time. Now, there's 24 hours in the clock. This is what they're telling us, okay? There's 24 hours in the clock. Okay. So now, in 24 hours, you go to bed. B-E-A-D. That's B-E-D, excuse me. So now, since you're in bed, B-E-D. What is it? Be dead in bed. This is why you rest in peace. Get it? So the bed is your coffin. Who sleeps in the coffin? The vampire. This is why the vampire has a corp. Get it? Corpse. Oration. Corporation. So you're the corpse. And you're working for nothing. See, you don't know the real value of money. This is what they tell you. It's one, five, ten, twenty, fifty, okay? A hundred, five hundred, one thousand. You see the loop? So they had a one dollar bill, a two dollar bill, a five dollar bill, a twenty dollar bill, a fifty dollar bill, a one hundred dollar bill, and so forth down the line. Look at the loop. You'll, you'll see it. OK, so that loop, if you look at that loop, that same loop in the number six, boom, see, six, spiral down, spiral down, needs to descend. Why the nine, you're spiraling up. See, we had to come from somewhere. So that number nine is you. You are that number nine. That's why I is in the ninth alphabet. Get it? You are I. You are the ninth letter of the alphabet. Nine. So this is why I am. See? Or I am born in nine months. That nine. That nine is you. You're the nine. You're not the six. You're not supposed to clock in. See, you're supposed to know exactly what you came down here for. But since this beast is controlling this planet, he knocked you out. But you just don't realize that yet. But see, it takes some of us waking up within our DNA because DNA is memory, which is reminded to wake up that 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 eternal alarm clock. 
So our DNA is that eternal alarm clock, not that alarm clock that you slam up and down so you can get up and go, you know, make the the the, the master richer, you know, picking his cotton, you know, working for whatever, you know, what you're doing. Yeah, you know, we got to survive. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, but he who who he who makes the money controls the population. He who owns the schools and the education is not going to tell you exactly what you need to really know about yourself, how the world and how the universe ticks and all this other stuff. They're just going to keep you in this loop. This this six just keep on spawning all the way down, all the way down. You see it? Six all the way down. See? Six, six, six. You see it? <laughs> But you didn't catch that, huh? So instead of spiraling up, you know. So now, again, let's go back to that 24-hour clock and that BED. This is where they get it from. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna open up your mind a little bit so you can really see with the pineal gland. Don't, don't worry about these because this is. Um, hang on one sec. Uh, let me, let me give you a call right back, okay, Queen. All right, I'll call you right back. All right. Okay, so now, again, that 24, and I'm going to show you again. I want to open up your mind a little bit. This is why you go to bed, 24 hours, all right? Two, four is equal to six. That's two plus four equals six. The two and the four, the two is the second letter of the alphabet, which is B. The fourth alphabet is D, 24, B, D. So B, D equals E. Put it all together, bed. You see, this is why you go to bed in 24 hours. Put you right back in your coffin, that 666. You see it? Because what is 666? 369. See? Three, six, nine. Why is that? Because three plus six plus nine equals 18. Six plus six plus six equals 18. <laughs> I bet you didn't see that coming, huh? So again, it got you spiraling down all this time, but you're not even realizing it, thinking everything is normal. Ain't nothing normal. This shit is the real matrix. You got to wake the hell up. If you don't, see you later. So again, let's let's continue to do what we need to do here, okay?